Hello, I'm Rachel from the Flint River Aquarium and I'm in our World of Water exhibit here today. And I have Chula with us. She is our Gila monster. Gila monsters are native to southwestern United States and northwestern Mexico. They are the largest species of lizard native to the United States and one of only two venomous lizards in the world, the other species being the Mexican beaded lizard. If you take a look at Chula here, she has a long stout body and a short fat tail right here and she, that she uses for balance. And she is covered in these bead-like scales called osteoderms. She has orange and black markings, um, but Gila monsters can also come in other colors like red, yellow, and pink. And what these bright colors do is they act as a warning to other animals that they need to back off or stay away or else they might get a venomous bite from the Gila monster. Gila monsters live underground and they will leave their den to hunt for food or to sunbathe. Because Gila monsters are slow moving creatures, their prey usually consists of eggs or newborn mammals. They will even climb cactuses to get to bird eggs. Gila monsters can store fat in their tails and they can often go for months without eating. The Gila monster's venom glands are located in the lower jaw and they have small grooves on their teeth to help the venom flow. Because they do not have fangs like a snake, the Gila monster will have to hold on while biting and they may even start chewing to help the venom flow into the wound. Although the Gila monster bite can be very painful, it is generally not lethal to humans. And since Gila monsters are very slow moving creatures, uh, bites to humans are very rare. So uh, thanks for watching and meeting Chula here. If you have any questions, please leave them below and join us again for more videos. Bye.